I do want to point out one new thing that we're going to be doing for 2010. Most of you know that I started off with stocks and options, and even though I'm really uh, focusing as far as investing for myself on futures on a day-to-day -day basis, I still have several um, you know, uh, investments in stocks. And so what I'm doing is on Facebook, and uh, my name is uh, Michael Glass. Uh, that's where I have all my single traders off as my, myself, at Michael Glass on Facebook. And they have the Kaching Investing IQ app. And what I'm going to be doing is if, if you, you want to follow me, view my portfolio here, also updates on Twitter for 2010 on what I'm investing, starting off with X amount of dollars. And one of the cool things about uh, Kaching is if they have what are called geniuses here, find a genius. You click on that, you find people, you can see how well they're doing for the year, and then th you can open that account and have it traded exactly like that genius. It's a pretty cool cool app, pretty cool uh, website, Kaching. So that's one of the new things we'll be doing for 2010. So for our stock folks, check me out, see what we're investing. And as I said, uh, if you like the strategies, you can open an account and they'll trade it exactly like the genius of your choice. Okay, so wake, welcome to the second video for this week's trading plan. On this video, we're going to focus primarily on futures, starting with the longer time frames and narrow into the short, shorter time frames. But initially, we're going to look at the internals, a uh, little chart we have here in Thicker Swim that's showing us what's going on. Um, it is a weekly chart, and we can see that we did, and we talked about this last week, start to get a, a sort of a oversold time device signal you can even see our advanced clients also showing how strong it was on the push down and then now starting to level off as the uh, we're starting to get some buying on the inside on our internals so internals um, are looking better because we are starting to uh, retrace a little bit but again the question is are we from our sell signal are we retracing to touch the moving average just to get a better position to short or are we actually going to uh, potentially make a swing higher. I mean technically on our weekly chart you can see we really haven't violated the previous swing low. Let's um, switch over to some monthly charts. When we uh, take a brief moment and take a look at the monthly charts we can see that uh, we did do a good job of retracing much of the down push. Um, 11,000, 10,900 here is our our peak here of the last push up and the question is notice that on the person indicated we didn't ever got a sell signal so are we going to bounce up now what's interesting I'm just going to switch over here and still long term but bring up the daily chart here and we can see a couple things first of all we can see the 200 moving average kind of looming down here looming down here underneath uh, the 100 and we, we got some interaction between the 100 we came down tested it came down and notice that where our push down is right now or where our resistance is is at that 100 moving average the other thing we can see is the 50 moving average angling down and it would certainly be very bearish uh, as far as a general indicator to have the 50 moving average break down below the 100 and the 50 in the 200 now we gotta get some real selling to get to get this 50 down below the, the 200 but again just in, in general um, the 50 crossing below some of the long-term traders are going to be watching that as we switch to the daily charts and I know we were on the daily charts before but we're changing our mover average here now we have the 5 the 10 the 20 and the 50 moving average when we get another vigilation of what I was talking about on the longer term moving average the 100 and the 200 um, I was just referencing the 50 moving average potentially breaking down. We here on a shorter time frame, we have the 20 moving average breaking down below the, the 50 moving average. And what do we see? The market turned bearish. Um, of course, the market turned bearish is what causes sort of one of those causes affecting. But what I do want to point out is this: um, Dave Elliott calls these ice hole fail failures. The market came back up and tested the moving average, the 20 and the 50 and made a new swing low. So as we come back up here and we're testing the, sw the 20 again, will we make a new swing low? I mean, uh, to make a new swing low would bring us all the way down to, you know, in this 9800 range. Um, so those are some things that we need to be looking at. We came up, tested the 20 moving average, we're breaking down again. Um, part of this is today's, this is Monday's action. So um, 
again, the market is trying to uh, test out whether or not um, we can break to new highs, go back to our 10,700 range, or if we're going to go back and touch some March lows. Some areas to watch. Uh, we talked about before, we want to look at this 10,000 range. Obviously, that's important. Uh, also, we talked about in our video, the 10,060 is an important area to be looking at, 10,060. If we can hold that, that gives us hope that we're at least going to go up and test the 50 moving average, if not more. Um, also, we talked about the, the support of the consolidation of November, December, and that puts us at the 50 moving average. So those are some key levels to look at. The 10,000 obviously is a psychological barrier of 10,000. 10,060 seems to be where we're battling. Notice the 5 and the 10 moving average moving there. And then the swing low of the consolidation of November, December puts us right at the 50 moving average. Okay, we just wanted to go ahead and take a quick second and remind everybody that we are on Twitter, uh, twitter.com backslash Ascendant Traders. And this is a good way just to keep an update on what's new going on here with us at Ascendant Traders. As you can see, when we update with some new videos, it comes on here uh, pretty soon with our ka and our investment portfolio. Those, uh, what stocks you're investing in will be updated here. Economic data, little things like that will all be uh, updated here on our Twitter account on Ascendant Traders. So go ahead and check us out. So when we look up at what we've been trying to do for our viewers, you guys know that first and foremost, we believe that trading plans are the most important things. And part of developing the uh, trading plan is developing the right mindset. So we've got a great relationship here on um, a, a great audio series on developing the right mindset and overcoming your emotions. We talked about that in part one of our video about the, uh, the mechanical stage of trading and, and the belief in your trading system. Also, uh, we, we've got a great charting platform for you uh, for, uh, f that you can create custom scans. Uh, whether you're a futures trader, stocks, options, this is a great platform for you. But ultimately, we've been, uh, Center Trade has been trading over to futures and moving over to futures. And so we've got a great video for you on how to get started and why you need to take advantage of futures, specifically the leverage. And when we're talking about leverage of futures, there is a great futures broker that we have a relationship with that has intraday e-mini margins as low as $300. And if you sign up through us, you can get 20 free contracts. And that's $200 in commissions right there. So, um, you know, again, intraday uh, e-mini margin as low as $300, the, the leverage that provides you. Now, of course, that means you can lose on that leverage also, but understanding the advantage of futures is very key. So obviously, as you're developing the right mindset and, and your, your future trading plan, you want to make sure that you have a, a platform that you're used to. So if you're going to use this broker, they've got a great um, platform for you to demo before actually going to cash. Now, if you're going to do that, we're going to continue right on down and talk about our future trading plan. Uh, it's a turnkey trading system, education videos, a great forum. Um, again, jumpstart your trading with futures. And finally, I want to talk about our live professional trading room. This is a room that I stopped working on mine because this, you know, I recognized who was a better person at leading people. And so this is something that I thought was so passionate about how great this room is that I stopped worrying about my room. And so they have a 10-day trial at $29. And um, that may or may not make sense. So what I thought I would do is show you a couple things to really here we can see um, their their trading record, their tracking record, and they they do it every day. They put it right up there for you can see. So you can see two thousand dollars on Friday, thousand dollars on uh, Thursday, only ninety dollars on Wednesday. That's okay. And as it keeps growing down, another two thousand dollars there. You know, and, and and they're honest. They show some losing trades in here. Um, they use basically three contracts uh, per trade. Uh, but overall, they usually make anywhere between four to five trades a day. And you can see, although this is a losing trade as a part of the day, the actual total for the day was 2,000 positive. So great tracking record, uh, educational, great uh, leader. Um, come click on the link and you can see this track record for yourself. And you can sign up for that 10-day trial. So all of these services that we've put together for you is about getting you in the right position to develop the right mindset, to create a system to be a consistent, successful trader in futures, taking advantage of the leverage of futures.
But again, what's most important is that there is a risk of losing money. Trade at your own risk.